So in, say, 1996, you had said, hey, Chris, we're gonna go see a new Adam Sandler movie. I would have been like, awesome. Today, you say we're gonna go see a new Adam Sandler movie, and I'm like, Blended stars Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore, they are teaming for the third time. This is like their little unofficial trilogy of movies. In the past, they had 50 First Dates, and before that, The Wedding Singer, which I actually think might be Adam Sandler's best straight comedy, because I kind of view his movies as having two different things. You have like Rain Over Me, Punch Drunk Love, and Spanglish over there in their more dramatic comedy area. Then you just have his straight up comedies like Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore, Wedding Singer, I think might be the best of the bunch. And this comes from the director of The Wedding Singer, so this movie actually has a little bit going for it. I was walking into this movie thinking, I really hope this isn't awful, but let's see what happens. In the film, we have Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore. They both have a lot of kids, and they're single parents. Through a strange turn of events, they get to go on a trip to Africa, and they end up going together, and at first they hate each other, and of course, you know, after a while, they're not going to hate each other. It's going to be all sweet and romantic, and hopefully it won't be awful. Is it awful? No, thank goodness. This is not a Jack and Jill. This is not even a That's My Boy. This is actually one of Adam Sandler's better movies of recent years. He still has excellent chemistry with Drew Barrymore. They work well together. You know, they're very sweet and cute to see together on screen. You've done it three times already. Fifty First Dates was, you know, it was an okay movie. And The Wedding Singer I actually like. This movie... It's okay, you know, it's kind of, it's like not quite 50 First Dates, it's like underneath that, but it's not awful. So in a strange way, this might be the happiest I'm ever going to appear in a technically negative review, because I'm not really going to recommend that you rush out and see Blended, but it's really not that bad. It had some sweet moments, it did have some moments in which I did laugh, but it also has Adam Sandler's brand of random, unnecessary stuff that just seems like, okay, that's... That's in the movie now, I guess. <laughs> Terry Crews pops up every once in a while for actually a very funny role throughout the movie that I did enjoy. There are a few cameos and some likable performances. Kevin Nealon plays Kevin Nealon in every Adam Sandler movie. He says one word in like a kind of inspirational way. Take the ball to its home. To its home. Why didn't you go to your home? That's your home. That's your home. Here's a nice piece of shit. Old man Clemens is gonna shit when he realizes it's shit. Who got the lighter? Uh, it doesn't have any memorable lines like that in the film, but it does have good chemistry. It has some sweet moments. It does have some likable performances in the movie. And Adam Sandler actually has a few scenes in the film that kind of matter. You know, there's some nice, touching father-daughter type stuff going on and some mother-son type stuff going on as well. Some of the kids were cute, but Drew Barrymore's older son was so annoying in this movie and he really got on my nerves. The film isn't that funny, but it's, you can sit and watch it, you know, it's actually not terrible, and I can't really recommend this film because it's not really that good of a movie, it's very predictable, it's very sappy at times, a lot of the jokes do fall flat, it is over long by probably 20 minutes, some of the characters in the film are very annoying, I'm gonna give Blended a C plus, it's actually not that bad, but I wouldn't really recommend that you rush out and see it, I would say maybe catch it sometime on cable, it's a surprisingly okay movie. I was actually shocked. So guys, let me know what you thought of the movie, if you have seen it, or if you are going to see it. What's your favorite Adam Sandler film? Like I said, I break them up into two different things. My favorite of his straight comedies is probably The Wedding Singer, quite possibly Happy Gilmore. My favorite of his more serious roles is definitely Punch Drunk Love. Thanks as always for watching, guys, and if you like this, you can click right here and get stuck <laughs>Guys, I just want to let you know that my Shutterstock promotion is still running. This is a very cool website for independent filmmakers because a lot of you guys have messaged me saying, can you look at my short film? Can you look at this scene? What do you think of my script? And although I can't always watch or read all of those things, I really appreciate that you guys do take the time to send those things to me. And this is a very cool website because it allows you to use stock footage and stock imagery of very HD and high quality things like, you know, over a city uh, from a helicopter and stuff. A lot of this is submitted by professional filmmakers and it's legal and through me if you use the promotion code Chris 514 you can get 20% off your membership and I hope you guys do check that out because I enjoy using that website because sometimes you just can't get that awesome shot that you have in your head and you're not going to be able to until you have a giant budget and are making Hollywood films like I hope all of you who want to can but that website allows you to legally use awesome stuff like that. So check that out, please. Shutterstock.com, promo code Chris514. Thanks, guys.